craziness have had to ensue over the past few of what, what weeks, uh, I was still able to check out the wonderful story of Henry Sugar. And as my second Wes Anderson film, I have some thoughts. This movie chronicles a variety of stories, but the main one follows Henry Sugar, who is able to see through objects and predict the future with the help of a book he stole. That's not very nice. People want to read books. Uh, this is directed by Wes Anderson, written by Rod Dahl and Wes Anderson, and stalls Raph Fiennes, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Dev Patel. Going into this movie, I didn't have the highest of expectations, you know. I hadn't seen any Wes Anderson film besides Fantastic Mr. Fox, especially one that was 39 minutes. And I'm going to talk about the runtime a bit later in this video, but I just want to say I actually had a solid time with this movie. It had a very interesting story, in my opinion, a story that I didn't know about, uh, and I was very interested in the story as it was going on, and I, I think the 39 minutes did fly by uh, from start to finish. Again, I'm going to talk about the actual length and how it helped the story later in the video, but it definitely flew by. Now, I want to do... I do want to talk about some issues that I had with the film first because, you know, it's not perfect. I think it's solid, just not perfect. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just going to get to those issues and then we can go talk about all the good stuff. I was really enjoying the first act of this movie. I thought it was incredible. So fast-paced. I really love the style that Wes Anderson was doing. But then... I feel like the second act kind of slowed down a bit too much. We were on this huge roller coaster ride, and we got to the second act, and it was kind of like, yeah, you hear some breathing time, you know, you can relax for a little. But I was like, yeah, this this has been so much fun. I don't want to relax for a little. I want to keep going because it's so entertaining, and I was having a great time watching. I was still, you know, enjoying it, but I wasn't as invested, and I didn't really have my eyes latched onto everything happening. Like, I was so immersed in everything happening like I was in the first act, and I kind of forgot I was watching a movie in the first act, or at least a short, very short movie. Uh, maybe it's a short film. I guess short films are kind of like four minutes long this is 39 minutes long but i just wasn't as invested as it was in the first act now the third act does i believe get back on track where we actually were were not following henry sugar too much in the beginning of the movie but then uh, towards the second act the middle of that act uh, transitioning towards the third act we did you know start to focus way more on him and the story became much more around him and he is the main focus of the movie and i was like why is he in the poster uh during the first act of the movie because he was like he was not a main character like whatsoever but you know you kind of start to learn more where the story is going and i do think it could have trimmed down some of that uh, first act, but I was enjoying it so much, so I don't even know if I wanted that. I mean, it's more entertaining if they didn't do that. I also feel as if the execution of certain plot points wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. Uh, sometimes I do feel like it, it definitely executed certain plot points very well, but sometimes it did feel like I was like, it was building up to this big thing that was about to happen, and then when it happened, I was like, that wasn't as impactful uh, as it could have been. I was like, yeah, that was kind of like you just handled it like it was another, you know, normal act happening in the rest of the movie. I was like, this is a bigger, it, it, this is a more important subject. And so I feel like they could have made that feel like it was more important. So I do feel like the execution of certain plot points just wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. Uh, and it was, uh, like I said, in and out with the pacing of the movie between the first, second, and third acts. But that's where my main issues are with this story. I think the performances are great. Benedict Cumberbatch does a great performance. Uh, has a gr does, d does a great performance? D does great acting? What? Benedict Cumberbatch gives a great performance, as well as Dev Patel, and his character in the first, like, you know, act of the movie, this is weird to say because this movie's 39 minutes long, but, you know, him in the beginning of the movie, I do feel like some of the execution of, line, of his lines was a bit clunky and messy and sometimes on the nose. There were, you know, when he was giving his, when he was at the forefront in the beginning that was in context you know it's going to make more sense than not in context but he will throw in these he says or she said or he said or you know i said and that was kind of it felt very clunky the way he would look at the camera and say it and then go back i really appreciate that style i did find it very unique from you know a lot of other movies that we've seen but it did feel like a bit 
forced when he said, I said, or he said. And I know in context it, it was very different. And you, you'll probably guess the context from what I'm saying. But uh, maybe that's a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. It's, it, I think it's like somewhere in the storyline in IMDb or something. But like I said, in context, it made much more sense. And it wasn't throughout a big portion of the movie. And what was happening in that scene was so interesting. So it didn't really bother me too much. I love the style of this movie. It felt like a play. Uh, the way they would literally do the transitions between scenes on screen. Because, you know, in the beginning of the movie, it may not be what you're expecting. Uh, because, you know, you know what's going to happen. And then it kind of it happens happens and it doesn't feel like a movie it feels like a play that you're watching the recorded version of but it still somehow feels like a movie at the same time it's really weird but I, I really enjoyed that style again I haven't seen the live action Wes Anderson movie so I don't know if he always does that but people have said this is the most he has went into that play style and you know it kind of happened in Asteroid City a little but I don't know if that happened but yeah it happened in this movie have, have I been talking too much I don't know I also really enjoyed the humor it was it was super funny uh, a lot of the times. You know, some jokes here and there are hit or miss, but I thought it was very funny uh, throughout most of the movie. Some of the, you know, ways they make eye contact and some of the just jokes in general. I was, I was really laughing and I had a really good time with the actual movie because, you know, it was funny. And I like when stuff is funny. Uh, like, like, what? Uh, I'm tired. Are you tired? I'm tired. I don't know if kids who are like, you know, younger uh, will actually enjoy this movie because it's definitely one that revolves around the dialogue. There's literally no action in it. So it's rated PG. There's nothing that kids can't watch here. It's literally like nothing. It's like a play. But there are scenes where I'm like, yeah, if the kids are not paying attention to the dialogue, they will literally want to leave the room because, you know, every single, almost every single line is important. Not one moment feels unnecessary necessary so if they don't pay attention to one or maybe two or maybe five lines i don't know they may not be uh you know focused the rest of the movie and it may be a bit too convoluted for them in particular so they may want to leave the room i think you should let them leave the room if you're a parent or an older sibling or younger sibling and you're less mature what i mean i'm a younger sibling um I think I'm less mature but whatever i i understood it i i understood it because i'm i'm smart <clears throat> no, I'm not. Overall, I thought this was solid. I thought it was actually really solid, and I enjoyed the experience for 39 minutes, and then I went back to doing my homework. The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar, three stars. I definitely want to check out more Wes Anderson movies because, you know, I really liked his style in this one. But, yeah, that's it for this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, shoot below the camera. There we go. Let's go. I can do this. Even with the big